right making a mercury tilt switch from a little bit of mercury from a broken thermometer what do you need there's still a little bit of glass there from broken thermometer a couple of dressmaking pins a little bit of plastic tube or a bit of an old biro but I couldn't find one a couple of bits of wire now be very careful with mercury it's highly poisonous but see there it is it likes to stay together in its little ball but don't get it on your fingers don't touch it right first thing I'm going to do is snip these solder a little wire on the end of each pin not the pointy end but the end that you've just cut off difficult to do this with a camera in front of you optional bit of heat shrink tube gives it a little bit more support and now the tube a little bit of hot glue in one end I guess you could use epoxy resin you might have more control if you do that but just going to give it a little blob of that let that dry don't want it to go too far down just in the end the great thing about hot glue is it dries really quickly well it's definitely set now and the next bit is the tricky bit because I've got to try and get that little bit of mercury inside this tube and what I'm going to do is push it into a funnel shape push the mercury on because it's got a very strong meniscus I think that's the word it it wants to stay together come on now yep yeah. oh there it is it's rolling about in there whoa and it's come out if you if a few little bits fall off it's really fascinating stuff because you can push it over like that and it will just swallow them up it wants to all hang together can you see there's a tiny little bit there wait a minute I'll come in on that as I said before though this is highly poisonous stuff so don't get it on your fingers and don't swallow it but you see if I push that over there towards that it will just swallow it up right well I think I've got the right method to get this in I've just got to be more patient and get that on there first come on now get up there yep no get it on the paper yep now let's see I'm going to try and get that in I've got it in the tube yes so the next thing I'm going to do is seal the other end of the tube obviously I've got to make sure this doesn't fall out and this is where I've got to be double careful because I don't actually want to contaminate the mercury I think maybe I should have used a smaller tube but then I've had trouble getting it into the tube now we'll see I've never tried this before it's got two chances it'll either work or it won't right I'm going to give this a bit of glue around the top here I'm oh, sorry you missed that on the camera I'll keep it this way up don't want it getting too far down there so I'm going to turn off I'll be back in a sec once that's well and truly gone off right well as you can see the little ball of mercury is trapped inside this tube now and the next step is you might have guessed this going to push these through the tube one end or the other might have been better if I'd used a thinner tube I think but I think it's going to work if I go in shall we say here now which way do I go come on someone help me I'm going to do it on here because I can push against this right I'm in my own light here but I'm going to push that one in so that it makes contact with the mercury in fact I don't know if you can see it's sticking in it and I'm going to push this one in here so that it's also sticking in it I put a bit more shrink on there just to hold those together in fact I could bend it a bit I could have 
always put a bit of hot glue around there but let's do a little test with it no that one's not actually in that one's not contacting the mercury no it's not quite right I'm going to push them both here right that looks more like it didn't quite get them in the right place I'm going to put some hot glue around that so I, I don't think it's going to leak anyway in fact if I can push right through it will stop them moving okay, difficult to do this on camera right well they're both stuck through I don't want them touching on the other side otherwise they're going to make contact so I'm going to pull that out a bit in fact what I'm going to do is cut that there so that they're not possibly in contact with each other don't know if you can see that they're not in contact with each other there now let's test it all right this is one of my old multimeters but one good thing it's got is a continuity tester as you can see so let's see what happens if I try it on this thing here such skinny wire I've put on this is right with a bit of luck what do you know tilt switch is working so there you go if you want to make a tilt if you've got a broken thermometer or a bit of mercury lying about and you want to make a tilt switch let's see I don't know whether it's going to work on any plane yeah it works on any plane it doesn't quite work on that plane in fact I'll glue it on a bit of foam board and then I'll be absolutely sure that it works anyway there you go a tilt switch made from an old broken thermometer a little bit of tube two pins and a bit of hot glue and just to give it a bit more security I'm going to put a blob of hot glue there on those pins and a little blob on the two underneath and as you can see I put a bit of heat shrink on here just to hold it together Keep, ro keep rotating it and then the glue rolls doesn't run off down to one side now you may be wondering what's the point of a tilt switch well they're built into a lot of security devices and domestic appliances the kind of thing where if it fell over it would be dangerous so you put a tilt switch somewhere in a circuit and when it falls over it just shuts it down and I was just thinking for an example of security if you fitted one to the stop switch on a motorcycle you could organize it in such a way so that if somebody rode it away as soon as they started moving it violently a bit backwards and forwards the switch would actually start making it cut out and, and stop the bike there's a simple example and of course all it need all it would need for when you're riding it is a bypass switch so for the sake of pound or two you could easily make a little security device for a motorbike but there it is um it was a bit of fun i had some mercury anyway so why not fiddle around and try and do something with it hope you found it interesting don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see something else stupid like this in fact there's loads of other stuff on my channel paragliding paramotoring sailing radio control model planes wildlife making a pond and a few other gadgets and gizmos like tablets and mp3 players there's loads so if you're bored during this lockdown why not check it out and I hope you stay safe and I'll catch you soon when this is all over. So take care and bye for now.